The video which I am about to play for you was created from a single image and a text prompt. These markings aren't just random. It's a warning. Now, let me take you to the model. Yes, it's the same LTX2 model which we covered this morning and we tested it out on their hosted environment. And I promised with you that I am going to install it locally and I will share with you all the steps with the workflow so that you could also install it and play on your own system. I have this Comfy UI workflow where I gave it this image and then I gave it this text prompt which I will just make it bigger and you can see that not only this text prompt has all the features which I want in my video but also the voice, the audio that these markings aren't just random, it's a warning. And did you notice the expression on the face? They were equally coherent with this text prompt. The only thing which is still uh, need a lot of improvement is the face matching. The face becomes a bit different and we also saw it in the morning. But anyway, we already have discussed the model, the LTX2 model, which I think is really, really good model from Lightrix. This is the model which is a diffusion transformer based audio video foundation model where you can have both audio and video in a single model. We also discussed its architecture features in the video which we covered in the morning. So feel free to check out that video which I will also drop the link in the video's description. Now please like the video and subscribe at least you can do that and become a member that will be a huge favor to me and if you're looking for ai updates without any hype then please follow me on x i actually have posted because i am not logged in that is why it is saying i haven't posted anyway so how did i install it right now model is fully installed and loaded this is my vram consumption i am using this nvidia h100 with 80 gb of vram and this model is consuming 65 gig at the moment when i run it it consumes around 67 to 68 gig of vram so you would need that much vram for the full precision model they also have some quantized version which you can get from their repo and i will show you shortly if you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable price like I am doing, I would highly recommend Mass Compute. I will also give you a 50% discount coupon so that you could just play around with a lot of ease. Okay, so first up, you need to install Comfy UI. How do you do that? You just go to my channel, search with Comfy UI tutorial and then follow this easiest tutorial on the planet and then you will be able to get it installed. So I'm assuming that you have already watched that video and installed Comfy UI and it is running at the moment. Once that's done, what you need to do, you need to git clone the repo of this Lightrix or you just, you know, go to the model page and download it. Now what I already have git cloned it, but before that you can do few more things which will make your life easier. Just go to Comfy UI, click on Manager and then click on Custom Node Manager. This is where you need to install some of the custom nodes. I'll just filter it with the installed. So this is which I have installed. Comfy UI Manager must be there and I have shown that in that Comfy UI tutorial how to do that. Then you need to install Comfy UI Impact Pack, Comfy UI LTX Video and this rest for life so these are the must and comfy bath of course so make sure you install them how do you do that for example you just search with ltx video here and then just click on install there will be an install button and then you need to restart it and that's about it so make sure that you have installed all of these once you will install that ltx video then just go to wherever you have installed comfy ui then from there Go to custom nodes. This is LTX video custom node. Go to example workflow and these are all the workflow. And the second one is the one which I am using. I just dragged it on my main Comfy UI screen and this gets loaded. Now before you run it, you need to download the models. First model you need to download is to go to L LTX2's Hugging Face card. Click on files and versions. From there, you need to download two files. So I am just going to download this because I have the full GPU. So this is the first file. 
in 43 gig right click on this downward arrow save link as go to comfy ui models go to checkpoints and save it there i already have saved it if you don't have that much vram just go with fp8 another thing you also need to get this distilled model and again you just right click on it save link go to wherever comfy ui models is and then you can just see sorry not here what you can do here let me show you in the lora's directory you just put your model here because they just treat it as a lora okay so this is a second model which you need and then of course we need this text encoder and they are using the jama 3 text encoder and you just search with uh, you know comfy or ltx2 right click save link as models and then you just go to text encoder and save it there this is also 24 gig so you would need around 100 to 120 gig of disk space make sure you have that much and then last but not least you would need all of these jama 3 12 billion unquantized model and how do you download it first you go to hugging face sign in and then log in and accept the terms and condition because this is a gated model once you have that just log into your terminal with hf auth login and run this command and you would need your read token from your hugging face profile just save it anywhere like i have saved it in my model and then i moved it to the checkpoint directory you can also directly move it to the checkpoint directory so for example comfy ui models checkpoints and uh, these are all the files from that jama directory these are all the models you needed and that's about it and you have all the models there make sure those models are selected sorry i'll just go here these are all the models load checkpoint latent you know upscaler is here text encoder is here v model is embedded in that dev tensor file this is the distilled model the lora which we downloaded and then you upload your image and then give your prompt let's try out one more prompt here in this example i have given a given it this image of a clock and i'm asking it that a whimsical animated close-up shot of a classic round ball clock with the black numbers the camera opens in a static frame showing 10 10 suddenly a tiny gray mouse in a red vest appears scampering excitedly onto the minute hand and then there are various uh, camera angles some soft ticking sounds mixed with tiny squeaking laughter my spin in a circles holding hands mid-air before landing gracefully on the second hand video is short i'm not sure if it would be able to cover all of it but let's see how much it covers as a, it is running so you see this is a max i have seen just under 68 gig of vram it takes okay so you can see that it is around 44 percent done it doesn't take too long so once it finishes i will show you the video and this is the video it has created let me play it Could be much much better but at least this was not possible last year especially with ltx1 i think it has done well but could improve a lot i know it's a hard one but i think the synchronization between mouse mice is quite good this one is quite good you see this is where things go a bit awry but i think when it also is giving the impression that it just blurs when it rotates so following the prompt as is okay so let's try out another one now in this next test i am i have just given it this ai image and i am telling it that a cinematic mystical shot inside an ancient stone temple with atmospheric fog drifting through arched columns and then woman on the left leans forward slowly her amber eyes reflecting the firelight and she says do you see what i see the camera slowly arcs right around the crystal ball as the woman on the right tilts her head studying that glowing and then she says the flame it's showing us something so let's see if it is able to do that okay now let's check out this video do you see what i see the flame it's showing us something oh. this is really really impressive what do you think even it has maintained the character look you see what i see the flame it's showing us something
and look at the eyebrows of the second you see what i see the flame yeah. it's showing us something oh. so i mean this is something very airy that it even gets the expression you see what i see the flame it's showing us something oh. even that flame is you know running wild it is so so impressive okay let's try out another one now if you are a regular viewer of the channel you know that we have this lawn problem with the neighbor where we have this 27 year old um blonde in bikini who jumps on the trampoline every day while you know i mow the lawn and i'm mowing it so much that there is a dirt and then you know so there is some prompt there where you know i am muttering under my breath that just focus on the lawn just focus on the lawn and then the camera pans back to the women bouncing again on the trampoline arms wide spread laughing joyfully and she is winking uh, again mid air the man covers his face with one hand shaking his head in em embarrassed frustration while still gripping the mower handle so you know what let's check out what model does here and by the way it is not you know just for the people of culture this is not this is an nsfw model so be careful what you are generating and only for if you you know do it for educational and research purposes okay so it has already finished so let me show you the video so it has created the video let me play it and you will be the judge so uh frustration is there but of course characters are all buffed and if i play it again you see trampoline jumping with and i think could be lot better but i think second one was really really good but other than that look i'm not that much of a nitpicker i know how much effort goes into making these models because i spend like hours and hours creating these videos um so you can imagine how much hard work these guys are putting in and again available open source go use it license is better you know um, it's not a patchy to as far as i know uh, but check it out let me know what do you think i'll just go down to see if i could see the license but anyway you know what check the license out if you are looking for commercial purpose but other than that amazing amazing model please like the video and subscribe and do me a favor become a member as that helps a lot seriously and follow me on next too thank you for all the support